Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for October 25th, 2014. It is currently 11.20 a.m. and we are just about ready to launch the new NYNJPA weather website. It'll just be a few more minutes, right? Not a problem. Let's take a look at what we have here. It's a beautiful, beautiful weekend with clear skies, a westerly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour, and temperatures today are going to rebound to well above normal levels. We're talking about 8 degrees above normal, ranging from the mid to upper 60s for highs this afternoon with clear skies and very comfortable weather conditions. On the latest satellite, or should I say a surface map, sorry, high pressure is pretty much in control here with winds basically back into the west. Now we are gonna have this cold front move through by the time we get to tomorrow, but there will be no precipitation because we have a very dry air mass in place. So we'll see some sky cloud cover, but that's really about it for the most part. We're looking at, for most of the region, sky cloud cover, if that, and temperatures remaining rather warm for tomorrow. Lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s, highs in the lower to mid 60s absolutely amazing out there perfect weekend just a perfect weekend it's the only way to describe it of course the radar is high and dry not much to talk about here on the infrared satellite picture you can see we have a cold front here but there really isn't much in the way of cloud cover it's more of a wind shift line more than anything else and we knocked down our temperatures by about five degrees instead of being 68 we end up being 63 but still you get the point here it is going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to remain so all the way through Tuesday. Well, Tuesday, we are going to be over 10 degrees above normal. We're talking about 70s. But don't get used to it. It's not going to last very long. On the water vapor satellite picture, I think this is really cool. You can actually see the Pacific air mass invading the northern Atlantic and really all of the east coast, kicking out that coastal storm that plagued our region for most of the week is driving through the eastern United States and will exit out of here in a very short period of time because now we have another storm on the way. Let's take a look at the model guidance. This is the European model guidance from the Penn State UL website. Now, premium members will know that I warned way back in August, watch out for the end of October because the way that the pattern's lining up and the way that the wavelengths unfold it would not surprise me if Halloween ends up being rather cool and stormy. Well, what do we have? Well, for today and for tomorrow, again, high pressure pretty much in control. We have a weak cold front moving through, very warm out. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s today, low temperatures tomorrow in the upper 40s to lower 50s, high temperatures tomorrow, lower to mid 60s, low humidity, very comfortable, absolutely beautiful out. Monday, pretty much rinse and repeat, high pressure in control, Temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 40s for lows, a few upper 30s in the interior, lower to mid 60s for highs, slightly above normal and very uncomfortable, very comfortable, should I say, for the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Now on Tuesday, a cold front will approach. Now this cold front is going to be a little bit stronger. Out ahead of it, a stronger southwesterly flow. Temperatures in the lower to mid 50s for lows, upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. Enjoy it while you can. By the time we get through Wednesday, that cold front's gonna move through with scattered showers and slightly cooler temperatures. We're looking at mid to upper 50s for lows, mid to upper 60s for highs. And then by the time we get to Friday, well, Thursday and Friday, we have high pressure building in, cooler temperatures, temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 40s for lows, upper 50s to lower 60s for highs, which is pretty much near normal. So Thursday and Friday are generally nice days. Friday afternoon, though, and this is where it starts getting a little tricky here, there's a lot of volatility in the models, but they're basically all pointing to the potential for a major East Coast storm on Friday afternoon all the way through Saturday. Fortunately, that's right about the time of Halloween. Now, the models here have a variety of different solutions here. And the reason why is because they're having a hard time dealing with the polar and subtropical disturbances involved in this weather pattern. The overall theme is the same. Ridge in the west, trough in the east, ridge axis is right about where you want it for a storm to ride up the east coast. And you certainly have the energy and the thermal gradient with a nice cool uh, polar air mass invading the 
Eastern United States. So the ingredients are there. We just have to work on the details a bit. But look for rather wet conditions from Friday afternoon on through Saturday with strong winds as this storm really gets its act together off the East Coast and just draws a bunch of moisture from the Atlantic and produces a very interesting weather pattern for us for the end of October and the start of November. That's your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.